one of the most important things you can do to be a successful long-term option trader is to pick solid companies to trade in. In this video, I'm going to share with you two stocks that have done really well for us when it comes to trading options over the past year. I'm going to give you the details of why we traded in them as well as the results of the trades we did over the past year. Before I share those two stocks that have done really well for us, I want to give you six things to consider when it comes to picking stocks that you're going to trade options in. These six things will by no means guarantee success but they will greatly improve the odds of you being successful as an option trader. Before I consider these six points to help you be a better option trader, if you're brand new to option trading, I've made a video just for you. It's a beginner video. I'll leave a link to it down in the description below. So please check it out once you're done with this video. The first tip is to only trade in solid companies and ETFs. Don't pick the newest thing on the market. Don't pick the most recent Reddit posts. Pick companies and ETFs that have a proven track record of being consistent in their growth, in their dividends, and in their earnings. The next is to pick companies that have a nice selection of strike prices to sell, call, and put options in. Third, consider picking companies that have a nice selection of expiration dates. As you see here, some ETFs and companies will have expiration dates that almost expire every day, and others won't have quite the selection. If the options expire only once a month. But make sure the stocks you trade in have enough expiration days so if you need to adjust your option positions, you have plenty of choices to choose from. The fourth option trading tip is to make sure you understand what's going on in the overall market, not just the stock you're trading in. If you're trading in a down or a bearish market, just make sure you understand the consequences of the options you're selling. It's okay to sell cash or put options in a bear market. You just either want to be selling them out of the money and possibly even real far out of the money or be selling them at strike prices where you feel comfortable if those put options were assigned to you. So make sure you know and understand what's going on not only with the stock you're trading in, but also the overall market. It's preferable to not be trading against the market. If the market is overall bearish, just know that could influence the stock you're trading options in. The fifth tip is to know how to handle your options at expiration. Know when is the best time to close them out and also how to deal with them when a position goes against you. If you trade options long enough, you're going to have option positions go against you, so know how to fix and repair those positions. And finally, before I share with you the two stocks that did really well for us last year, make sure the companies you're trading in are priced fairly, or better yet, are undervalued. By trading companies that are fairly valued, or even better yet, undervalued, it gives you the opportunity to place more option trades that will go your way. Now let me share two companies we traded in over the past year that have done really well for us and also fit those six things that I just mentioned to you. First, we have Digital Realty, ticker symbol DLR. Here you see all the trades we've done in Digital Realty over the past couple years. I've color-coded each year. Off to the right in this far column, you see the cash flow we received for that year. As you see, we've pocketed a low of $284 the first year we traded it on this spreadsheet. But then we pocketed $2,100, $1,400. In 2022, we pocketed $1,500. And then last year, in 2023, we pocketed over $3,400 in DLR. Notice that some of these were cash cut put options that we sold, and others were covered call positions that we sold in DLR. You see, we've been selling put options against DLR, have been assigned stock. When that happened, we turned them into covered calls. Now, along with covered calls and dividend paying stocks, we also got to start collecting that nice dividend of $1.22 per share. But as you see here in the bottom right, as a result of buying and selling options, just this one company, DLR, over the past several years, we pocketed over $9,100. And last year, we pocketed over $3,463. Now, the numbers I ran for you here were if DLR was called away from us. Currently, we've sold the call option that expires in about two and a half months. So if it were called away from us at that 115 strike price, this is the overall cash flow that we would realize. DLR has been one of my favorite stocks to trade options in over the past several years. It's generated a lot of nice, consistent monthly cash flow for us. However, right now, after its recent run-up of almost 70%, it's reaching an area where I believe it's kind of overvalued. So if it is called away from us as a result of the cover calls that we've been selling against it, then I'll give it a little bit of time, see if it comes back down and look for a new opportunity to sell additional cash care put options in it. DLR is a nice example of a lower price stock you can trade options in, although it's not really cheap, it is around that $100 strike price. So DLR is a nice example of a stock I like to trade options in. Let me share with you another example of a more expensive stock and what we've been doing to generate cash flow against this stock while also protecting ourselves against a down move. BlackRock, ticker symbol BLK, is an asset manager and one of the world's leading providers of investment, advisory, and risk management solutions. It's a company that I really like. As a result, when given the opportunity over the past several years, I've been selling cash care put options in it. Now, this is a stock that's very expensive. As you can see here, it's currently trading for right around $780 per share. Since it's such an expensive stock, I don't really want it assigned to me. Now, there are some things I could do if it was assigned to me, including turn it into a poor man's cover call, but I prefer to continue selling cash care put options against BLK. Here you see the option trades we've done in BLK over the past several years. The green shaded area is one year and the yellow is last year. Notice that year before last, 
we pocketed just over $2,100 as a result of selling options in BLK. Last year, we pocketed over $3,100 by selling options in it. What I want to focus on here at BLK is what happened in this gray shaded area. Back on February 16th, we had sold a March 690 cash care put option. Well, then BLK went against us. So when it came time to roll that option, although we've been paid $14 per share to sell that option, in order to buy it back, it costs us over $48 per share. But remember I mentioned there's things you can do to help yourself when it comes to option trading? Well, here's what we did. We bought that 690 cash care put option back to close it out. We rolled the strike price down $20 to 670 per share. Now we had to go out to June, so we went out three months. We were able to roll it down and still get a nice credit. Notice that we were paid $54.35 for that June option that was $20 lower than the option that we bought back and it only cost us $48 to buy that in the money March 690 put option. As you can see, things don't always go your way. But as option traders, there are a lot of things we can do to put the odds of winning in our favor. And then when things don't go your way, there's a lot of things you can do to help repair those positions. As a result of selling put options against BLK over the past couple of years, we've pocketed on average a net of $53.39 per share. And that's if the stock was assigned to us. Now, obviously I don't want it assigned to us, but that's a nice big figure on a stock in a company that I really like. Like DLR, BLK has had a nice run lately. In fact, over the past several months, it's up over 30%. So right now it's not at a position where I feel comfortable selling new cash care put options in it, but I'm looking for an opportunity to do so. That's why you see we don't have any open positions here with BLK. But I like the company, when it comes back down and finds support, I'm definitely going to sell some new cash care put options against it. DLR and BLK are just two of 227 stocks I'm currently tracking, looking for opportunities to sell options in. If you'd like to get an alert whenever we buy stock or sell options, check out the benefits of becoming a patron down the link in the description below. If you'd like to see how you can minimize the risk of selling options potentially for free, check out the video at the link above in the description below entitled, How Can You Minimize the Risk of Selling Options? Until next time, Happy investing, and we'll see you again soon.